Okay, so I have downloaded the MakerBot desktop software to my computer, uh, powered on the printer, connected it to the computer. It immediately detected it. Uh, when the software was installed, it detected that the firmware did need to be updated on the printer, which is pretty typical to be expected, but it was really easy. It just said, do you want to update? You say yes, it downloads it, and it installs it on the printer for you and tells you when it's done. Very simple. Um, now from the previous one of the previous videos where I installed the build plate I have uh, researched that the build plate very simply just pulls out. You don't have to hit any special button or lever or anything. It's just pulls out as simply as it pushes in. So I didn't want to do that initially until I had confirmed that you know how I was supposed to do it because I don't want to hurt anything and I also learned those three metal uh, little metal pieces on the build plate are how the printer automatically calibrates the build plate this printer has an automatic calibration it's not something you ever do yourself uh, also this printer does not have any onboard display unlike the larger fifth generation printer that does have a uh, built-in display this on the bottom right here is what they call an action button. When you're prompted by the software for certain reasons to hit the action button, you can do that. So to load the filament, which is the next thing we need to do, into the printer, they have at the bottom of the desktop software, they have a button called, a little uh, menu called monitor. When if you hit that, you actually get, uh, yeah, you should be able to see it. On the right here, there's actually a camera on board the printer focused uh, from right, right about here at the midpoint on the left side down at the build plate. And there's a light that illuminates in, inside the printer so you have good light on it. And you see that right here. And you can actually take a photo if you, if you mouse over that window in the software, you can take a picture at any point. Um, so in any case, to load filament, they have within this menu area a selection for change filament. So you first do that, and then you press load filament, which I've just done. The printer made a little noise to, so you can understand it did get that message. And in fact, the light now that's inside of here, I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's got a red, it's illuminating red right here, you can see on my hands. It's got a LED light illuminating red, which means the extruder is heating up. And then at, when it heats up, it is going to then start feeding the filament, which I have already placed in the top of the Smart Extruder Plus. And on your desktop, it gives you indication that you, where it is, it's at 30% of heating up right now. So it will go through that process and once it's loaded, we're ready to, to print. Uh, I believe what it will do, if it's like other uh, MakerBot printers, is it will start feeding the filament, and when it's extruding out, it'll tell you, you know, tell us you know, when it's extruding, push the button, and it will stop. So we'll do that, and we'll be back to start a print. 